Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another Minecraft tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how to download Fabric for 1.16.1 version for Mac. Before I get into this tutorial, I want to first tell you that if you're new to my channel and find my videos useful, then please subscribe because it really helps. At the moment my goal is to reach 1000 subscribers. Please help me grow my channel by subscribing. Thank you. If you want me to show you how to download any mod for Fabric, then leave a comment down below. If you want to see a detailed tutorial on how to download Forge 1.12, 1.12.2 or 1.15.2, then you'll find the links below. If you need to download JDK or Java, I also have a video on that and you'll find it below as well. But for now, let's get on with this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is click on the first link in the description, which will lead you to the Fabric website, which is this one. And what you want to do is look for the Universal JAR um, installer and click on that. And it will immediately download and you want to click Keep and then drag it to your desktop. Then you want to open it but it won't let you because it's an unidentified developer so what you want to do is click on system preferences security and privacy and open anyway open. then this will pop up one second okay and in this video we were interested in 1.16.1 so you just want to make sure that this is selected if you want any other version then you just scroll down and you select the right version but for now we want 1.16.1 you don't want to change any of the other um, stuff here so then you click install then it will give you a message saying that it has successfully installed and then you click OK. Um, what you want to do, this is not required, but many mods, most mods require it, um, is for you to download Fabric API as well. And I'll show you how to do that as well in this video. So what you want to do is click on the second link in the description, which will lead you to this website. Down here, Fabric API, and then you click on download. This is the version 1.16.1 so double check that it is the correct version and you want the fabric installer to be the same as the fabric API so the version should um, be the same and whenever you download a mod for fabric it should also be in uh, the 1.16.1 version okay so what you want to do is click keep and it has downloaded you want to drag this to your desktop as well you can um, throw the Fabric installer in the trash, but keep the Fabric API. What you want to do is click on Go, go to Folder, and copy and paste this there. And then you want to click on Go, and look for your Mods folder. If you don't have a Mods folder, no problem. All you have to do is create a new one and name it Mods. And you want to drag Fabric API in the mods folder. Once you have done that, what you want to do is open up Minecraft. And then you want to click on installations, click on new. Okay, so more often than not, um, Fabric Loader 1.16.1 will appear by itself. In the cases that it doesn't, all you have to do is click on new, click, um, I don't know, I'll name it fabric 1.16.1 and then look for the correct version. In this case, it's this one, okay? Create. Okay, so here um, you just want to look for the version you have just created which is this one, or if you have this version, then you can click this one um, and select it, and then click play. It might take a longer while for it to load, but just bear with it. It should be um, 
run in a while. Okay, once it has loaded, you will see that um, it tells you here in the bottom left cor corner that Fabric uh, has been successfully installed. Okay, so this was it for today, guys. If you found this video in any way useful, then please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps and makes a difference. If you got stuck at any step in this video, then go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Also, as I previously mentioned, if you want me to show you how to download anything else, then also leave a comment below. I'll add it to my list and make a video about it. If you want to check out any of my other Minecraft tutorials, then I'll link some down below, or you can check them out on my channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in future videos. Bye!